Okay, you all, how you doing? This is Foresta. I have another topic for you all. Um, for those that don't know, I know you all are like, it's a different scene. It is a different scene around where we are now because, um, I have three and a half bathrooms in my house. So, for those that don't know, you never truly know where you're going to get me at. Um, let me give you a brief description of what goes on in my house. <clears throat> I keep my house very clean. I'm very neat. Um... I have nice furniture, I have white neighbors, I am, I'm all up in what I need to be, right? So, the reason I say that is not to be cocky or to be, um, a diva or anything like that. I say this because I have a lot of friends and people that know me that tries to find their way to my damn house. And I don't know why. I know you wonder why I got this bath, this uh thing on, but I just got through taking a shower a few minutes ago. For those that don't know, I am fresh, fully clean. And if you're not fully clean, then you're not fresh, fully clean. But anyway, so I just need to know if I'm the only one that's like this. You have them people that like to have barbecues, that like to have book readings, that like to have wine tasting at their house, that like to have movie night, that like to have all their boys or their girls come over and kick it live and may even want to smoke weed in the house or may even want to have a sex party or may just want to stop by and say hi. I'm not one of them people. And I feel crazy because I have a friend that I've known for five years and she's never been to my house. And she's constantly, constantly trying to find her way to this damn house. And I don't understand why. Now, mind you, I do have, I have five people that I can, three people that I can actually call my friends that'll be down for me for, through thick and thin, that'll help me when I need them and all this other stuff. So, when I say this, I'm not saying this to be mean. It's just, I'm one of them people that don't like company. I mean, I don't like my house tow up. I don't want people walking in and out my front door. I don't want the heat and air going out. It's, I just don't like people at my house. Now, I go to people's house. I'll spend the night sometimes. Um, but when I spend the night at people's house, they love me and they always want me to come back. I bring breakfast, a lunch, a dinner. I cook it. Have everybody up in there grubbing, eating. Um, I clean up. I even have somebody's house that I stayed at a couple times. And his house is always fire. But with me, I just like to do stuff because I don't want to be um, the one that they say, this bitch can't come back to my house. I washed his clothes and everything. No, he was not my nigga. He was a sissy. But that's, a, that's not the point. The bitch house stayed lace. And even with guys that I talk to, I don't bring boys to my house. It takes a boy a minute to get to my house. I'll even tell you another, another thing. My mama, I've been in this house now, I've owned this house now for 10 years. My mama begged me so much to get a, have a housewarming. I never had a housewarming until I was in the house like three or four years after I'd already been here. Not because I want, I just, I didn't want the free gifts and the money because I did. But when I first moved in the house, I just wanted to enjoy what I've, what I've worked so hard to get, my accomplishment. I wanted to work for it and enjoy it. That's why it's not easy for a man to move up in my damn house. I made this. I did this. And if you want to be with me, you need to have your own place. And if we're going to be together, we could possibly come together for like a couple of months. But then we need to start working on getting something together. So that way, if me and you break up, I can bring my ass back to this house. You can take your ass to your house and we can sell the house that we got in together. Or if I do let you move in with me, Half of the bills right off. Including the mortgage, nigga. Because there's no reason for you to be coming up in the Marriott or five-star hotel, basically, when you used to be in that Miss Motel 6 or the Thrifty Nifty. But whatever. So, back to the beginning of the story. Girls and boys, my, my, my uh, friends are always trying to get to my house. There's only one person that finds her way to my house all the time, and that's my cousin Tiffany, because we're so much alike. She doesn't irritate me when she's at my house. So, I have so many friends, but this one friend, she keeps coming, and she gonna get mad today. She said, bitch, you always come over my house, and I never get to come over yours. And I'm thinking to myself, we could meet at Crystal's Waffle House, Walmart, Kmart, Dollar Store, the mall, 
we ain't gotta meet at your house when we go places. We can meet at the clubs or the bars or wherever we choose to go. You just mad because I don't want nobody in my house. I don't give a damn if you tell me you don't meet at your house because I don't care because I got a house to go to. And I wouldn't be mad at you anyway because that's what you want to do. So I need to know, am I being petty if, because I don't like people at my house? I know you're going to let me. I mean, come on. It's my house. The whole point of my name being on the mortgage is because it's mine. And I'm thinking to myself when she got mad at me, I was like, do I need to stop fucking with her and hanging with her because she's silly? But get this. Then she going to say, for us, I don't know why you don't like me at your house. She said, I'm going to come over there. She said, uh, can I come over there? I said, no. She said, ooh, bitch, you so sensational. My philosophy is, if it takes longer than five seconds to tell you yes or no, then you don't need and don't want to do it. So if you ask me something and I'm, mm, I don't know, maybe, so, hell no, that's too long. Y'all need to get real with yourself and stop trying to play with people's feelings. Basically, can I come to your house? No. Why? Because I don't want you to. Now, if they choose to keep building up, you keep tearing that face up. Why you don't like me? Yes. Why well, I heard you don't like me. You might be right if it's going to stop this conversation. I just need you to stop worrying about what's going on at this house. It's not that I don't like you. It's not that I disrespect the person that I know. I just don't like people at my house, and I'm just like that. I like to walk through my house, and everything still be the way it is. I don't like having roommates. I... My mama got a key to my house, and she doesn't come over here. She calls first, and most of the time she'll meet me at the front door. Not because of that. It's just because I don't want to. I have three brothers and one sister. So growing up, we were in a big house full of shit, and I've just, I have not been the same since. I don't like clutter. I don't like people's shoes all over the downstairs by the front door. I don't even, my dogs are in a big ass cage, okay? I don't like, well, my dogs are clean dogs, but the Mighty Girl dog had puppies. So she's in the cage with them puppies, because them puppies are not going to come out and shit and piss all over my house. I just don't like people in my house. Does that make me a bad person? No, I'm just, I don't know how to take this, because for years people's been saying that. Occasionally I might have a barbecue. Ain't more than four people coming over, and them hoes is gone before it's dark. I just don't like people. When company comes in from out of town, they're like, first, we're going to stay with you. Mm -mm, don't worry about it. I will take you to a courtyard Marriott and pay half. I'm going to pay the whole thing. Unless they family, then I might pay less than half because them hoes knew they were coming down here. And I'm going to take them to the hotel. I just don't like people at my house. I mean, I just don't. And I think it's because one time I had my niece, she's like 15 now, but my niece was younger. And one of her friends came over the house and spilled some damn juice on my carpet when they were little. You know, I was pissed. And ever since then, it just ain't been no justice. My furniture is a little bit old, but I have, when I tell you, you it looks brand new because I don't play. I just don't. I like to enjoy the privacy of my own home. When I'm for rest and I'm out and everybody can see me. It's like I'm giving myself to everybody. When I'm on these YouTube videos, I'm giving myself to everybody. So when I come to my only place, it's my space. I like to have my space, and I don't like anyone in it unless I invite you, like I am with the YouTube videos. And my neighbors, only two of my neighbors out of like 40-some houses have been in my house. I just don't like it. I'm sorry. This little boy was getting attacked by a dog and ran to my front door and I left him on the front porch. Not because I don't like him. Probably because I didn't know him. But I just don't want... I, why would I let this nigga in my house? When boys try to hook up with me after getting to know me and it's almost time for a little of that bedroom boom. Marriott, honey. We kick, I need to be a spokesperson for Marriott because them hoes know me. Fuck leaving the light on at night. Leave the card at the front desk because they're going to charge what they want me to have. I just don't like people in my house. Am I wrong? It is kind of petty not to be letting people at your house, bitch. I'm finna turn into Beyonce and Sasha Fierce. This is Beyonce with the house. I just don't like people at my house. This is Sasha. I just don't want them hoes at my house because it's mine. And if they really wanted to go to somebody's house, they buy their own and be comfortable. This is Suburban Girl. Oh my god, I would love for everyone to come to my house, but <laughs> it's so messy. And then there's me, Foresta. 
I just really don't want you at my house because I like my place. 615-823-8925. Do you feel me? Understand what's going on. Look at my bathroom, y'all. Oh, you can't even see it. It looks small right here, but my bathroom, like, carries all the way down. <laughs> but, yeah, it's decorated and stuff, and I got African art in this room. But whatever. I love you all. I will talk to you shortly. Don't step on my heels. Oh. <laughs>